Good afternoon, dear colleagues. My name is Professor Sufianov. I'm a chief physician from the Federal Center of Neurosurgery from Tumin. I would like to thank the organizers of the White Nights of Oncology. For me, it's great honor to be one of the speakers because a lot of uh, aspects are related to the Federal Center named after Petrov. Now let's move on to the body of my talk. And uh, I'm going to speak about m the experience of Fed Federal Center of ne Neurosurgery, which was constructed in the frameworks of the National, um, National Project Health. And uh, it is a really serious setting. You can see how big it is. You can see the number of surgeries. This is approximately 4,000 surgeries, planned surgeries. And uh, that's 25 to 30 surgeries per day. I would like to say that our uh, neuro-oncological uh, neuro center uh, has been developed. And uh, you can see number of our speakers and the list of our speakers. Uh, we have great number of uh, friends from abroad who usually come to us uh, to practice and uh, learn and share experience. You can see uh, how we work. And we also have a laboratory of telemedicine and a lab, which allows us to actually deal with a specific neurosystem uh, for us to become Uh, to become a professional in the neurosurgery of gliomas, we conducted a number of research. You can see them, uh, the anatomic structures, uh, anatomic studies, excuse me, uh, on the screen. You can see the sections, staining, uh, different modeling, and uh, these are results of anatomic structures or research, uh, research in anatomic structures. For us to understand it better, we analyzed our experience for the, th uh, for the 10 years of our activity starting from 2011 to 2020. You can see that the number of gliomas were approximately uh, 500 of different localization. Almost all of them are listed here. So this is quite vast experience. and. Uh, experience in completely different uh, localizations. It's grade one to grade four, the most malignant ones. And uh, this is a statistical analysis with the following. Uh, this is Kaplan-Meier curve showing five-year survival, 27.4%, quite a good result. And low grade in uh, and benign ones, that's five years survival of 65.4 years. Uh, just to do such surgeries, you need good equipment, equipment and our uh, such technical opportunities are uh, ample. In our center, we have seven uh, state-of-the-art uh, operating theaters uh, with uh, the uh, top um, equipment. Now you can see uh, surgical. Uh, a surgical room uh, for operating on the spine and the uh, bone marrow. You can see here all the drills, the 3D navigation, as well as the Im imaging systems. A hybrid surg surgery or uh, uh, operating room is also available. And uh, the most important in terms of intraoperative diagnostics is, of course, the CT which gives us an opportunity of intraoperative uh, perfusion in the brain in order to assess and uh, achieve 100 percent objective uh, view of how radical the uh, tumor removal is. I suppose that only CT can give us such chance. This is something that uh, this is Toshiba city. And you can see that it allows us to um, conduct any diagnostic manipulations as well as the uh, perfusion of the brain. This is an example of surgery without application of ICT. You can see tumor here. And uh, this is uh, anaplastic astrocytoma. And this is hyperperfusion with the CBV over 20 uh, times. Uh, and. Uh, we actually, uh, you can see here, without any navigation. And uh, this is exactly the bit which we, which was uh, residual. It was left behind and hyperperfusion. Uh, and uh, we didn't have uh, intraoperative CT at that time. And uh, in uh, three months, there was uh, the growth continued. 
this is hyperperfusion, which is still here. And uh, once again, without intraoperative uh, CT, we resulted in the following. In six months' time, it was just uh, hypergrowth with hyperperfusion. And uh, this is an example of using ICT. This is uh, uh, anaplastic uh, astrocytoma as well. Hyperperfusion is quite difficult to assess it intraoperatively. This particular site and Nonetheless, after intraoperative CT, we assessed, yes, this is the area of malignization. Maybe that was a relapse and we removed it really totally. And that's exactly uh, that we see showing the results. And there is no progression of tumor. This is post-operative view, you can see. Uh, this is within uh, several hours, 15 months, and uh, hyperperfusion here. Apart from that, we have been using uh, five ALA fluorescence microscopic, and uh, this is an example of glioma or glioblastoma of quite uh, quite bulky. This is how we use microscope with uh, additional uh, light. Now we can see So generally speaking, um, here you can see a little bit better view. We can open up better. We open up and remove up to the absence of pink color. And uh, it's a very good way for the total removal. Now, the same uh, device can be used in, for endoscopy uh, type of surgery. You can see a tumor here, which is located very deep. And that is why we can use uh, the same technique in order to minimize the access and uh, to improve the outcome. You can see hyperperfusion here. And in endoscopic surgery, you can see the light. And after that, you can get the view of the tumor. This is Monroe foramen, which is blocked. And the third ventricle is over there. Uh, here, you can see the septal vein and paraseptal vein. And also the uh, vascular bundle. Now you can see the fenestration of the Monroe septum, and this is laser aggregation, which is very potent. And this is an NO variation. I don't know whether we can actually block it up. And the uh, interpreter must apologize. The sound is very poor. And the laser is very precise, uh, contactless, and it allows you to uh, work very precisely, uh, actually being very close to main, main veins, which is a great achievement of the laser technology. So we have visualized the vein, and this is, again, once again, an advantage of contactless laser. This is also absence of fluorescence, and you can see that uh, we have achieved total removal. This is pre-view, pre-operative view. You can see the malformation. And this is uh, operative view and post-operative view. The, uh, it has been removed. Photodynamic therapy. Once again, it's uh, an intensively developing um, direction. Uh, this is uh, something that we do by means of a laser, and this is uh, 
before surgery and post-operative view. This is photodynamic uh, therapy uh, before irradiation and after. You can see that it's total destruction which has been uh, enhanced by means of photodynamic uh, treatment. It improves survival, especially uh, with high grade of malignancy. Then combined use of neuro-navigation and intraoperative ultrasound uh, with uh, another very important and prosperous direction, because we actually need uh, to, uh, first of all, assess the role of uh, neuro-navigated ultrasound control. Mm, uh, we can actually undergo by very simple but very effective way. This is a combination of uh, ultrasound navigation with a, a fusion with MRI. Now you can see MRI. Uh, you can see that we construct all the uh, pathways and tracts that we need to keep under control. In the course of surgery, ultrasound is navigated with neuro irrigation, and uh, we use we fuse both images from ultrasound, which uh, navigates us uh, in the course of surgery with intraoperative MRI, MRI with fusion uh, technique, and also you can see how we uh, should go during surgery. It allows us not only to navigate but to keep everything under control. So we operate, do ultrasound, and we understand very well where we are and how far we should go. Of course, uh, it improves safety of our surgery, surgical intervention. So ultrasound really improves it. It's quite prosperous. And another very important is the use of Storz Vitam, Carl Storz Vitam. This is a uh, surgical microscope for neuronavigation and intraoperative ultrasonography. This is utterly important for the low invasive uh, intracortical surgery. This is what I'm going to show you now. This is before surgery, the process which uh, is located quite deeply. You can see MRI before surgery with all the tracts um, uh, uh, just uh, built up. Uh, and uh, then further on, there is navigation, ultrasound navigation, intrasurgical. And then uh, there is uh, fusion with the intraoperative ultrasound. And uh, uh, this is. Uh, this is how we remove the tumor itself under the ultrasound control in uh, um, at any stage of surgery, and the surgeon uh, can uh, can uh, you can can work quite safely. Uh, without harming the structures, which is very important for any surgeon. This is everything we can control intrasurgically. Intraoperatively, you can see the MRI fusion. And this is the resection after, uh, after surgery. This is an example of total tumor removal without any uh, neurological deficiency after uh, the surgery. This is navigated mic uh, operative microscope. You can see it shows us where we are. And last but not least, this is the use of uh, surgical laser uh, by uh, Cyber Tia. Now, here it's quite a difficult tumor. Uh, laser navigation, candemoma, fenestration. Uh, this is Monroe uh, foramen. And uh, we do not harm any uh, main, main uh, vessels. And after that, we can do the biopsy. And using this thulium uh, laser, and uh, without any contact, you open the uh, Monroe foramen, and uh, uh, you can remove the tumor. This is contactless tumor, tu uh, Thulean laser. No contact with the tissue. This is a main vein, one of the uh, just big uh, vessels. And uh, generally speaking, 
uh, we don't harm it. This is before and after, and you can see how well everything is restored. So the use of thulium uh, laser uh, is used quite uh, uh, quite ex extensively. You can see aquaria blade, and we introduce the electrodes. After that, it gives us an opportunity to uh, stereo, uh, tactically uh, just place the laser to the uh, area where we need it. This is the angioglioma in the temple, in the temporal area. Uh, it's quite small, which allowed us to uh, resect it quite safely by means of laser. We didn't even need the trepanate. This is the result, post-operative, and this is in three months. You can see the tumor bed and histology showed that everything was removed uh, in a radical manner. Thank you for your attention.